All right, let's start by giving our garages a makeover. So Dave and Joey, I'm so excited to see the DIY hacks that you've got for us today. Tracy, I'm starting to think that my wife and you are collaborating on these city line <laughs> projects because I honestly haven't cleaned my garage in over two years and I think you guys just made me do it in like two days. Um, but we've got some exciting hacks for you using a bunch of just scraps that you have potentially laying around the house. Yeah, and uh, first of all, we know that you guys are a hockey family. So what are you doing right now to store those hockey sticks for the kids? Oh boy, if I could show you a picture of my basement right now, like holes with a puck in the wall, the sticks are all over the place, like all the different lengths of sticks. We're doing nothing. So please help. I know that you are probably going to tell me the right way to store all of them, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, so let's roll over here. This is maybe not the right way, but it's one way. <laughs> so this is an easy DIY solution. So this is this three inch PVC pipe. Uh, we've cut it on a bit of an angle so that you can put a screw right through the backside into a two by four that you've already mounted to the studs. And look at this, you have anything that's got a long handle on it can just run right into the PVC pipe yeah. and you are ready to play. Just pull it out, good to go. So yeah, this is a great way for brooms, hockey sticks, fishing rods, anything that's awkward and usually ends up just slammed into a corner somewhere, now it has it all. I love that. And you know, the whole idea of taking things just off the ground and using that vertical space is going to make your situation 10 times better. So next you've got a suggestion for the kids, the scooters, the skateboards, which we also have a ton of. Uh, what's your suggestion for that? Yeah, so I mean, in my house, we've got three kids. So I've got three scooters, a couple skateboards, and they always end up all over the floor. The garage is littered with them. So this is really easy. This is just a piece of wood with some dowels screwed through the back of it. And for the scooter storage, we just had one low, one high, so it locks it into place. You can pop that scooter out. Do a little trick, oh, <laughs> nice. put your scooter back away, <laughs> and then for the skateboards we've got three dowels now. So we've got two that are parallel and then one above so that it just slides into place. Okay, I love it. I love the, like, the exactness of where the, di the dowels are and how everything fits. Tell me honestly, how long did it take you to do the one with the dowels for the skateboards and the scooters? The dowels, that's probably like a 20 minute thing. It's super easy. You just need to cut those dowels down, space them out, screws through the back and it's in, it's installed, it's done. So there's really no excuse to not do this. I mean, I made plenty of excuses over the course of two years, but we're here now. Okay, so maybe you should actually be thanking me and your wife because it was only 20 minutes of your time and it looks phenomenal. Now, you know what takes up way more space is our spare car tire. So what do you do with those? And this again is super simple. This was just scrap two by fours that I had laying around. I screwed them to each other. I screwed them up to the trusses up top. You just gotta make sure you have the right spacing for those tires, plop them in, they're in and out of the way. Yeah, not only are they off the floor, they're like up in the sky there, like close to the roof. So that is very <laughs> smart, lots of room. Now I hear you saved the best for last. What is it? Yes, so this is TrustCore's slat wall system. So this was all very specific storage, but we all know we have a bunch of small stuff that we need to again, get up off the floor. So this system is fantastic for that. It's made out of pure PVC, so you're not gonna have any mold or mildew. You're not worried about it getting wet. When it does get dirty, just spray it with the hose. And easy is the main word here. We literally put this together in about a half an hour last night because we needed to throw it together on the wall. I just think it's a nice thing when the spouses can come together with City Line and make you all do work like this overnight. <laughs> like, this is phenomenal. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about your beautiful tower of recycling? Like, I, I know that this is not part of your special project, but um, <laughs> a, a lot of us are dealing with those bins and we don't know what to do to get them out of the way. So what did you do over there? The irony of this is I think I did this on a segment probably a year ago, but I just actually implemented it in my garage last night. But these are just the scrap pieces of wood again. Two pieces screwed together to make a cleat so the 2 by 4 attaches to the wall and they just hook into place. You can pull them down, put them in with ease, stack it up out of the way and hopefully we'll be able to park the car in here in the winter if we can keep it clean. <laughs> That's goals right there. If you can get your car in your garage and you are living in Canada, you are doing it right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're winning. Thank you so much for that.